Monday, August the 6th, 1945, began like any other day in the city of Hiroshima, Japan. Although their nation was at war with the Allies, the citizens had no idea that their city was being targeted by a weapon so powerful it would cause the immediate deaths of 80,000 people and utterly destroy their city. The world's first nuclear attacks on Hiroshima and three days later the city of Nagasaki would have a major impact on human life and political relations for years to come and be remembered as the main event of 1945. It was the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941 that brought the United States into the Second World War. For the next three and a half years, war raged in Europe and in the Pacific. On July the 26th, 1945, American President Harry Truman and Allied leaders issued the Potsdam Declaration, outlining terms for a Japanese surrender. Japanese leaders rejected the declaration. To avoid an invasion of Japan and bring about what he believed would be a quick end to the Second World War, President Truman authorized the use of the atomic bomb. A short while later, the bomb, codenamed Little Boy, was delivered to Tinian, an island in the West Pacific, and loaded into a Boeing B-29. The plane's pilot, Colonel Paul Tibbet, had named the aircraft after his mother, Enola Gay. In the early hours of August the 6th, the Enola Gay took off from Tinian, accompanied by two other B-29s, the Great Artiste, which carried instrumentation, and a photography aircraft later named Necessary Evil. In six hours' time, the Enola Gay would reach Hiroshima. During the flight there, Navy Captain William Parsons armed the bomb, and 30 minutes before reaching their target, 2nd Lieutenant Morris Jepson removed the safety devices. At the time of the attack, the population of Hiroshima was approximately 250,000. The city was one of several that had been deliberately left untouched by air raids during the war. The pristine environment would allow the US to accurately assess the damage caused by the atomic bomb. At around 7 a.m., Japanese radar detected the approach of American aircraft. An alert was broadcast throughout Hiroshima, but the skies were clear. There was no sign of an impending air raid, so the alert was cancelled. At a quarter past eight, the Enola Gay flew over Hiroshima and released the atomic bomb. 43 seconds later, it exploded above the city, killing 80,000 residents in a single searing flash of heat and light. The burst temperature was estimated to reach over a million degrees Celsius. It ignited the surrounding air, forming an immense fireball. When the crew members of the Enola Gay looked back, they saw a towering column of smoke mushrooming into the sky. About 30 minutes after the explosion, a heavy black rain began falling northwest of the city. This rain was full of dust, soot, and highly radioactive particles that were sucked up into the air at the time of the explosion. The blast had leveled over 60% of the city. Trees were stripped bare of their branches. Only the strongest buildings remained. The huge firestorm that followed the bombing had turned a large part of the city to ashes. Those who were not killed suffered severe injuries, burns, and a new illness, the effects of radiation exposure. Three days later, a second atomic bomb was dropped on Nagasaki, killing an estimated 60,000 people and causing many more to suffer severe injuries and the after effects of radiation. On August the 15th, Japanese Emperor Hirohito announced Japan's surrender and ordered the Japanese military to lay down their arms. The main event of 1945 had changed the course of history. The bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki had ended the Second World War and unleashed the atomic age. <laughs>